everybody, we have a new haircut. I hope you guys enjoy it. Well, it's kind of weird for you guys to enjoy a haircut. What's going on, guys? How are we doing tonight? Yeah, I had to, uh, I don't know. I just had to do something different. Who we got in right now? We have Zachary Hanan. Hello, Hanan. Make America Piss Again. Mr. Fernando Arroyo. How you doing, sir? Sophie Fitness. Thank you, Sophie. Sophie said that I look good. I doubt it, but um, yeah, it was kind of one of those things, guys. I wanted to be wanted to keep it kind of short. I guess it's kind of short. I just need to clean it up. I mean, today it was just like I woke up and I look like a crackhead with my freaking hair just like all like messy. And Carol was like, "Eric, you need to fucking take care of that shit, dude." ASAP. World class douchebags in, but he's cooking. Apparently, not enough food, sir. If you're not eating enough, you need to eat more. How am I doing? That was weird. That is very strange. Very strange. Anyways, everybody. So what are we doing right now? This is uh, different. You guys are seeing two live streams in one week, possibly even a third one. Possibly. Let me get my magic ball. Over here, if this wants to work for me. Uh, don't worry, guys. We'll get to the election in just a second. By the way, just so you guys know, um, the latest video is uploading right now. It wants to work for me. Ah, that's that. This should be better for you guys. Hopefully, you guys can hear my voice now. Tell me. Does this sound better to you guys? Hopefully, this is working working way better than what was before i do i i went back and watched the um i don't watch my videos after they stream or anything like that i'm not weird <laughs> who would do that um but yeah so the audio quality did make a difference in my opinion which is what matters all that matters is my opinion um yes everybody so two live streams one week but first, I wanted to highlight the fact that I got this in from a subscriber today, everybody. I am stoked. Absolutely stoked, guys. This is Goku's Gym. How awesome is that? Shout out to Emma for saying this my way. Love you, Emma. You guys are going to be seeing the uh, next little thing that I got in the mail as well. Um, what mic is that? It is the electric mic. I have no idea. It's by uh, – it's blue. Blue. But it works. It does the job. You guys can hear my sexy voice, and you guys will be hearing my sexy voice in the next video, which again is uploading right now. But guys, it's I'm cooking right now, and it's very hot in my apartment, so you have to excuse me. I have to change. Yes, I know. This isn't pretty. Chesticles. No shame, guys. No shame. Should I just stay like this, or am I going to scare all of you? It's kind of weird that I have no... I don't care that I'm completely shirtless right now in front of all of you. Nips. You guys you guys will obviously be asking for nip slips regardless of which tank top I wear, but it's strange that I'm not self-conscious right now. I just don't care. Am I making you uncomfortable? Am I making you uncomfortable? Do you even lift, Eric? Do you even fucking lift, bro? But you guys didn't think you were getting this. Um, yeah, that's pretty much what every hater likes to say anyways. But, yes. Um, I did today. I, I had a light day in the gym. Light, 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 light day. But you guys got to have light, light days sometimes. Putting on my Vegan Kingdom shirt right now. Shout out to my boy. Brian Turner. The non-vegan wearing the vegan kingdom shirt. Talk about the election. That is covered in the next video that's uploading. But I'm going to talk about the election right now, everybody. Give you guys a little sneak preview. But first, what are we doing, guys? What are we doing? Tonight, of course, one of the best, if not the best. I'm still debating on what I like better, Diet 7-Up or...
root beer. That root beer, of course, we're watching a figure. Um, you're making me blush right now, says Mr. Joker. Since you're saying Mr. Joker and you're a mister, that's very odd. Uh, do you use Strava? If you're a cyclist with a carbon fiber road bike with electronic shifting and you don't use Strava or don't know what Strava is, I feel very sorry for you. You'd be surprised how many guys envy a body like yours. Well, thank you for the compliment. I appreciate that. Um, for me, though, it's all about here. All about here, especially today. I had a very tough day mentally, everybody. I'll be the first to admit that not every day is the greatest. Sometimes you just have to, um, you know, admit that. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. Diet Cherry 7 Up says Julie Aton Yates. I'm with you, Julie. It is actually very good. Diet Cherry 7 Up tastes like like that Mountain Dew Code Red. I think I've mentioned that before. Um, Where's Harold? Harold was already mentioned, Fernando. You're late on that, sir. Yeah, I gotta stop making the uh, watching your figure joke apparently that's not funny anymore but check out that poor though check out that poor everybody the whole point of this live stream tonight was to address some frequently commonly asked questions and because i have nothing better to do on a wednesday night because i'm just that pathetic and i have food in the oven and you know what's your strava user yes um, so I've, this is like the first day, actually granted I haven't read comments yet, but first day where I haven't, um, been the usual Eric in addressing people via comments and being a sarcastic asshole. So I'm going to try not to be a sarcastic asshole with this live stream. It's probably gonna last about a minute. Um, Vicky says, glad you're feeling better, Eric. Keep your head up. I'm going to give you a fist bump, Vicky. Thank you. Appreciate that. See you guys. That's nice. That's a nice constructive comment, a nice motivating comment. What is your favorite food? Okay, yes, so that's a great great start. A little segue into this Q&A that we have going on right now. Um, so we're going to be making this the new official mass Q&A, if I can call it that, mass Q&A, Q&A. I don't know. Uh, because I'm just, everybody, most of my videos or my videos that get the most comments are my cheat day videos hold on hold on hold on that wasn't that wasn't proper cheat day videos um satan loves coffee says what's up eric having coffee that was this morning i didn't have enough coffee today um anyways so this is going to be the frequently asked questions video that i can direct everybody to because it's just yeah. My boy, Mr. John Kennedy. Hello, sir. When are you going to be doing Double Peak next? Um, yeah, when I lose the fifteen to 20,000 pounds I've gained over not um, riding. Oh, John, you should actually check out the next video that's uploading in about probably about 15 minutes, sir. It's cycling related. I think you'd love it. But yes, um, yeah, it's not going to be for a while. I suck at it. Okay, great question here. I know you get this question a lot, but how do you do these ginormous food challenges and maintain you body? I know that you exercise and stuff, but some of these things are like 30K plus cows. George Sasso asked that question, and this is a, a very common question. Uh, Mr. George, I'm going to redirect you um, before I actually answer this again. I made a video called Why Am I Not Fat or How Am I Not 400 Pounds? I can't remember what I titled it. But um, essentially, it's nothing having to do with metabolism. It does in a very small way. But it involves people getting up and moving more. I'm a, Well, I used to be very active. used to be very um, – I, I, I would ride my bike for three to four hours a day and then you know do my lifting sessions and everything like that. And that's how I was able to do them. Um, basically 
one day will not make or break you, sir. So you can consume. I'm not saying go out and eat 30,000 calories in a day because that's stupid. Of course, it's something I would do. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, that's pretty much the way I put it. Um, yeah. Eric, can you give advice about losing drive and depression because you look like because you look like going something similar, I guess. Um, that's by Ovu Man One. Um, so losing drive and I'm assuming by drive you mean motivation. Shout out to Sophia. What's up, girl? Um, so that's gonna happen. You're not gonna be motivated some days. Like today, everybody is a perfect example. Um, I just did not want to do anything today. Had my class in the morning. Um, which I will actually talk about in a few minutes because it's kind of pissed me off. But had my class in the, in the morning. Um, and yeah, I just was over. I was just, I was tired, first of all. Like doing a three by five on squats should not kill my legs like it has. I just, I changed up some squatting um, technique and actually widened my stance and everything. And I'm squatting with my knees outward more. And so it's hitting more of my hamstrings. But basically, guys, long story short, is I got up and pedaled to class today, which took me about five minutes. And I felt like somebody was taking a butcher knife and stabbing me in the ass and hamstrings. Um, yeah. So days like that where you just kind of just don't have motivation, just realize it's just one day. There will be tomorrow. There will be another day. I will be able to ride the bike again. I will be able to be active again. I will be able to, uh, because activity and being active and all of that really brings me happiness. It's something that I like. So, uh, Hanan asks, when you had your eating disorder, did you ever have binge episodes? If so, how did you deal with them emotionally afterwards? Great question here. Um, so when I had my eating disorder, when I had anorexia, um, I, went through phases like for example like during thanksgiving and everything like that christmas obviously it involves eating um stupid amounts of food um depending on the family dynamic you have but i had what i perceived as wait hold on i didn't do it yet i didn't say it yet. what i perceived as binges when they really weren't binges so basically um i can remember a few episodes um i should really i mean since it's really not a binge can't really say episode but i had a few times where like i would go down like my family was heavy, really like we like to always have a lot of ham so i can remember in particular um but yeah well oh, hold on one second casey neistat calling me out that's a good joke sir if you can link a video to that i would really love to see that anyways um <laughs> someone's trying to troll but so we would always have turkey and ham out on the counter. And so I was just during this, I think it was like Christmas Eve or something like that. I would just literally sit in front of this ham. It sounds disgusting because it was, but like I would just, I wanted to eat as much protein as possible because when you're an anorexic, you think, well, I can't speak generally like that, but you know, you consume more protein, you're going to gain more muscle. Um, which is not at all the case because more protein doesn't necessarily mean more muscle. Anyways, but I would literally, I think I probably had um, like an hour. Where I just literally sat in front of this thing and just boom, 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 boom. Went upstairs, tried to force myself to go to sleep, but all I could think about was this damn turkey. And so I kept going back down. Like I literally made like three or four different trips downstairs until my family's like, are you still hungry? Like, why are you eating? Like, that's what my dad said. And I was just like, like, I didn't have a word because like, I, I mean, I was just basically surrounding myself by that food. Like that food could not get off my mind. So pretty much, um, that's like those like weird episodes I had, you know, I'll call them episodes about that. Um, yeah, so it was, it was a hard time for me to deal with, but, um, they weren't in my opinion, like binges. I don't know. I, I feel like. I disagree with the um, the psychologists that have um, defined the word binge online and in actual like the true meaning of it. They say it's 
uh, I believe it's like any words of upward of like six to 8,000 calories in a single sitting. Um, so I just, I don't, I don't know. I disagree with all of it. Uh, I was in a lecture actually uh, a few weeks ago. My professor was telling us all about what the actual meaning of the word binge drinking is. Um, and it's like, I think five to six um, beverages of alcohol or whatever, however you want to say that. And so like we all laughed in class of like a class of like 180 kids just bust out laughing because like that's pretty much like an average weekend for the average, you know, college student. So apparently all college students are binge drinkers now. So you guys get my point. Um, Eric, do you still play World of Warcraft or any other MMOs? Like you mentioned, past videos. Ask Sebastian Chias Chiasosun. Did I pronounce that right? Um, I don't. I'm secretly waiting for a MMO as awesome as original World of, World of Warcraft to come out, like vanilla. I'm waiting for something like that. I doubt it's going to happen, though. Shout out to Crystal. What's up, Crystal? Eric, how much do you spend a month for food drinks on average? Av average? It says double D. That's a pretty awesome name. How much do I spend? I would say right now between $170 to $200 a week. I spend a lot of money on food. If there's anything you guys should take away from this is that I, if I spend money, it's on bikes, food, or just like gym stuff. I don't really care. Oh, well, actually YouTube stuff too because actually that's my biggest expense is buying fucking cameras and stuff. So, Sophia, where'd you get that fantastic haircut from? Thank you, Sophia. Everybody, Sophia is just such a, she's such a sweetheart. I got this, <laughs> I feel like I'm 50 saying that. Uh, I got this haircut from Fantastic Sam's because it's fantastic. No, uh, I got this from my girl, um, Desiree is her name over at um, Great Cuts by my house. Um, ever think of doing a tour of Europe for eating challenges? I've sure, I sure have thought of that, Philip, but actually getting the time to do that and the funds for that is, is on my mind. Um, I do want to address everybody before my video goes live here in about a few minutes. Um, the latest election. Now, a lot of people are making sure to chime in to, um, social media to voice their opinions on the election that happened. Um, which is kind of, how do I say this? Mm, I'm trying to be nice about this. Um, posting on social media about what you think regarding politics. Yes, it's annoying. Ari Fisher knows it's annoying. Um, just is not going to solve anything. I address this again in my latest video that's uploading right now. I need to stop doing that. But it's like arguing with somebody. Like if I tell you abortion is wrong and you tell me, oh, well, fuck you. Abortion's right. I believe in abortion. Do you really think that there is going to be... Do, do you think that that person's going to go, you know what? <laughs> You're right. I'm an idiot. I mean, obviously. I was just, I was fucking with you the entire time. It's like nothing is going to get solved. I can't tell you guys how many people I've seen post on social media today from high school, from college, from even elementary school, posting about their political views. And it's like, oh, this country's in the shitter. Oh, go Trump. This country is horrible. We're all racist. I can't believe we're elected this guy. Trump's awesome. It's like, Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Ugh, unfriend me if you voted for Trump. I don't want to deal with you. Um, then it's like it's it's like guys, why can't people just accept the differences of opinion? It's like it it literally bugs the shit out of me. Um, I showed up to my lecture this morning. There was a girl wearing a sign uh, around her neck. And this girl was wearing a sign and well, I noticed her because people were taking pictures of her because that's what she wanted. She wanted attention, but she wore a sign around her neck saying, um, like not my president or not my vote or something like that. Um, and it's like, 
she wanted that simply for the intention. She was going to wear that around school all day. All her friends are going to be like, oh, you're so powerful. You're, yeah, oh my gosh. It's like, I sat there and shook my head. I was like, I did not want to have anything to do with this person at all. Um, Just because they were simply like, it didn't matter if it was for Hillary or for, for Trump. I just, I just did not want to have anything to do with her. Um, quite frankly, everybody, we live in a day and age where I'm admittedly one of those people. You go to social media, you want to tell everybody how you feel. You want to tell everybody about that bagel that you ate at Starbucks, that cinnamon raisin bagel, um, that caramel spice, uh, what the hell? I said car caramel, caramel sp spice latte. Um, yeah, I don't know. That's just like people. Oh my God. Just, <sighs> Um, too cute kitty says, I just wanted to let you down for a long time ago. It was, it has to be able to do with the best of all the time. I will have the same time. I have, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be rude here, but I have no idea what you're talking about. Um, <laughs> dope man. I saw a comment telling you, you can't vote. So I was serious. Um, yeah. Guys, it's just, yeah, it is 2016. My final statement, and this is the last thing I'm going to say about the election or what happened before you guys see the video that's uploading again right now, um, is that you could live in North Korea. You could live in a place where your vote does not matter. You are just another um, brick in the wall, we'll put it that way. I live in one of the most um, culturally, culturally diverse, free, um, democratic places that there are, and I don't care if you disagree with me in my statement there, um, but you have to realize that um, you were granted these rights, these freedoms by our founding fathers, by... Um, the millions, um, well, I actually probably shouldn't say millions, but thousands of men and women who have sacrificed, well, actually, there's just a lot of men and women who have sacrificed their lives for us to be able to vote in this context. Um, so, I mean, we should all just be thankful for that. Uh, be thankful for what you have. So, you could be in a lot of different other or other places. I made a joke on my um, Facebook last night. I said, um, what did I say? I said, uh, my friend in North Korea, this is just me being cheeky. I said, my friend in North Korea, or I asked my friend in North Korea, um, I'm trying to remember this damn joke. Oh, I asked my friend in North Korea how, how things were, and he said, eh, I can't complain, because literally he can't complain. Um, that was the joke. So just imagine that, guys. Imagine that for a second. Um, let's see here. Eric, have you got the enlightened ice cream ever since every YouTuber seemed to get it? No, I have not. I have not. Um, I did the little Halo Top thing, which is pretty cool. But, guys, it's fake ice cream. Like, if I'm going to do my next review, it's going to be um, not fake ice cream it's not like fake is a bad thing it's diet ice cream we'll put it that way so Lindsay m says i appreciate your input you are so valid our problem starts with our inability to listen to one another those are some wise words right there Lindsay. thank you um so the next frequently asked question that i get a lot is how can you guys can you guys guess before I ask it or ask, I state it, I should say. What does your workout routine look like? Now, I feel like this is great because it's changed. Uh, previously, I did, um, you know, I mentioned it a little bit earlier where I'm used to doing like three to four hour rides, then going in and doing, um, you know, squat, bench, deadlift, or usually two compound movements, um, and then doing like a food challenge or something like that. But the fact of the matter is, is that's not sustainable, believe it or not, everybody. Human beings cannot do that long term. And pretty much, I will say it caught up with me. 
And uh, I said, you know what? Fuck it. I am not going to be doing that anymore. And um, yeah, so now, well, granted, all of that was usually fasted too. So not the best thing for muscle. Um, yes. So now I would say what I've changed and what I do differently is I structure my week in terms of um, if it's a lifting day or a ride day. For example, yesterday, I had a class towards the later end of the day. Um, and so I'll ride in the morning and then go to class, come home, do homework, usually crank out a video, try to, and that's the day. Not having to ride, then go lift, then ride back home, then go to class. It's like you pick one or the other and you do it and you stick with it. It's a ride day or a lift day. Now, if it's going to be a ride and lift day, it's making sure that you're smart with it, not hammering out hills. Um, you know, that's what I used to do. It's like, guys, it's, it's like stupid. Um, so I will say now three days a week minimum. I try to get in Texas method is usually, um, good for, uh, it's good for me just because I like to get in the gym and get out of the gym. I like to go in the gym, have a goal in mind. And if it's, you know, ripping heavy shit off the floor or if it's pressing heavy shit above my head, that's what I'm going to do. So um yeah three days a week now minimum if it's four then i sh I usually break down um my deadlift day and my squat day i can only squat once per week it's just right now it's that's all that is good for me so um yeah that's my my workout routine no my scheduling routine though um it's gonna vary i make sure i get in and, and do at least minimum 45 minutes to an hour um cardio isn't really something i'm worried about right now I mean, granted, I huff and puff my way up to hills and I feel like a fat kid that eats cake, but it's okay, guys. We're into strength right now, and that's what matters. Um, now, uh, Sophie Finnis asked, because people always ask about my poop, like, that's a great question. It's a great frequently asked question because it, it does get asked a lot. Um, my poop, believe it or not, hold on, suspense. You guys can like hear my gulping. That's kind of weird. It is normal. Believe it or not, everybody. My poop is, well, the size isn't normal. But I think people ask more about like what they like. This is probably getting really gross. But it's normal. Like it goes out like normal poo. Now I do consume still about, well, I'd say like on an average day, like four or five pounds of vegetables and fruit. So that you can imagine isn't going to be like a i've always kind of wondered why people like have like it takes them so long to poop like when i poo it's straight to the point you get in do your business you're done takes me a maximum about three or three minutes max i mean depending on how much i want to go through instagram i needed what i need to do is stop waking up and going on social media i need to just kind of like not care and just go for a walk or something but um yeah so that's pretty much it. Now, the size of them is gigantic. I usually poo um, once a day in the morning. So that's pretty much it. Do you plan on you now broadcasting? No, I hate you now. I don't like it. <laughs> Brazzers are naughty America. Um, maybe when I was 12 or 13, I was a Brazzers kid. Just saying. Um, what is your favorite food? Great. You guys are just killing it with the frequently asked questions right now. Um, favorite food is going to be... Hmm, what is it? I'm going to say Brussels sprouts because that's what the... Oh, shit. It's in the oven. Whoops. Whoops. One second, guys. We got serious, serious uh, stuff going on right now. Oh yeah, guys, you should all follow me on uh, Snapchat because we just might be doing Snapchats for like the first time in a year. This music just needs to stop. Let me do something different, but first. Oh, Team Mom is on, everybody. That's kind of pathetic. That show still exists. Why? In God's name, does that show still exist? Um. Ugh. 
Hopefully I'm not going to spill anything here. Oh, goodness gracious. Goodness gracious. Hold on. Yes, I'm here. I'm here. Check out that. That looks terrible. I look like I'm a failed military applicant kid, if that makes any sense. <laughs> WTF, team mom, I'm triggered. I'm triggered too. I'm triggered that you're triggered. Um, okay, everybody, this is also what I wanted to show you guys. I have two pizza cutters now. That is that is official, everybody. Look at that. Look at that. Boom. I have like so many pizza cutters right now. It's going to make perfect sense because what we're going to be doing is making pizza. Well, it's going to be, I guess, kind of pizza. We'll do this pizza. Um, I don't think I've ever done this before. So... I have my crust laid out right here, everybody, conveniently. Well, first, I'm going to take this out of the oven so it doesn't burn. I'm not going to burn the skin off my fingers. I didn't get too badly burned. It's just the way I like it, everybody. Boom. You guys can guess what that is. Some meatless browns because your boy is not doing fish anymore. Well, for now. I'm trying something different. We have in the pan some chopped garlic over here. So what are we doing, everybody? This is probably not the best place to put this, but um, you guys can see yourselves. That's kind of the coolest part about all this. You guys can see yourselves right now. You can see me. That's so trippy. How trippy is that? Tell me you're not you're not fucking tripped out right now. Oh shit. That's crazy. But, um, yeah, guys, I was not actually thinking I'd make pizza tonight, but I did. So we put a nice, healthy amount of bar barbecue sauce. No, it's pizza sauce. Got my new spatula, which I just got at Target for a stupid amount of money. Stupid amount of money. Now, sometimes, guys, like real pizza, if you ever go, and Sophia will know about this. Shout out to Sophia right now. If you guys go abroad, you'll know that pizza sometimes does not even have cheese on it. Even though I put cheese in this little, uh, put we'll say dough. I already put cheese in here, but I am low key one of the biggest lovers of basil. Just just normal basil. I love 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 basil. I think it's one of the best things ever. I think it gives so much flavor to food. So if you guys, pro tip, put this on the outside of your pizza, on the crust. Guys, seriously, these are all hacks. You should be taking notes. So put this on the outside just like that. And then what else you're going to do, I should say the next thing you're going to do, give it some crunch. And by the way, everybody, this is the game changer. Yes, it's pesto. Sorry. Pesto. My mind isn't working. So always put it on the outside. You guys have to focus on the crust here. And then what you do there for now, you get a little, little pinch of garlic sauce. Garlic sauce. Salt. Damn it, I can't think. And then not too much though. Not too much. And then the rest is history, everybody. Ah. No oven mitts needed. And then because I like to do this, I don't know why. I think this is like one of the best shots you can get when you're talking about cooking food. So you guys have the, we have the pan right there. Just listen to this sizzle. Ready for this? This is about to happen. I'm actually moving my mic closer so you guys can hear the sizzle. This is such like an in-depth like... You guys are getting the first experience right now. Sizzle. I've been eating so many mushrooms lately. Oh my gosh. I love mushrooms. Delicious and nutritious. And then from there, you guys have to make sure you guys get the right amount of garlic. It's very, very important. Yes, 
Richard says, Eric is like Gordon Ramsay, straight savage, wonderful cook, great human being, and rides a bike. Only difference is Gordon is angry as fuck. Gordon Savage. Gordon, Gordon, I almost said Gordon Savage. Gordon, Gordon Ramsay ain't got shit on me, sir. I'm just kidding. You. Gordon Ramsay could probably... I don't know. He'd probably just beat me up, but he's probably a uh, black belt or something. Oh, shit. Uh, and then what else do we have here? So these are these are great. These are nice and uh, convenient. They're also on sale at your local Kroger. Um, Corey Lebrosa says mushrooms are cancer. No, sir. Mushrooms are actually delicious. They're delicious cancer. They're also fun fungi. Whiskey for flame. I don't have whiskey. I don't drink alcohol. There'd be no reason for me to have whiskey. I will say that um, I wish these came with like less carrots because I hate carrots. I buy these simply for the snap peas, which I'm going to add more of right here. Guys, this is Stir Fry 101. I forgot to tell you, everybody. And now, if you guys want to look like a pro in front of your friends, actually like look like you know what you're doing in the kitchen, just do this. <laughs> you were saying? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it works. Trust me. It works. Now this is done. Shit. That's working. That is working. Grab the winter green. Don't worry, we're gonna get back to we're gonna get back to uh, questions here in just a second. Just a second. I know how it feels to be alive. By the way, everybody, um, the latest album from Mem Memphis May Fire. If you guys are into that type of music, go listen to them. They are amazing. It's stuck in my head right now. Stuck inside my head. Oh man, it is freaking baking in here. Baking. Let's see. It is eighty-three degrees in my apartment. Is that hot, guys? I think so. System of a Down is coming out with a new album. Sophie, you just made my freaking night. I cry when angels deserve to die. I can't scream. I can't scream. I will say, though, that I'm going to be giving you guys a nice little shout out for the next video because you guys are live. So we have Sophie Fitness, Mr. Owen. Daniel, you guys are live. Daniel says, when are you going to sponsor with anyone else in the near future? Well, I was never sponsored. I was affiliated. But I don't have any plans right now. Now, that may change. What if I just did this? This is kind of awkward. Everything I do is awkward, so fuck it. Fuck it. Don't care. I should care though. But I just don't. It's going to be Damn. I'm going to think I'll need a pizza card for this. You know what? We're going to save this. We are going to save this. I might have to make remake the uh, pizza video because I've been asked or getting a lot of questions about it. If you guys are unaware, I have the official Eric pizza video. It's up. 
you always ask me like how I make my uh, pizzas. Oh yeah. The other thing I was gonna show you guys that I got. This. Now I'm using this because I've heard good things. Let's see if this works. Good things about sea salt, and I've never tried it. So I'm gonna try it right now. I usually don't even put salt on anything. I just smother in condiments. So this is gonna be interesting. Yeah, this did not come out well. Oh well. Oh well. At least I tried. At least I tried. You guys probably can't even see me. No one's in the no one's in the chat anymore. This kid isn't eating food. Later. Yes, that's me putting ketchup on broccoli. Get over it. Get over it. We'll be addressing sodium here in, in a second. It's a very that's another commonly asked question. That's a very common question. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay. Shout out to Angie Anarchy. What's up, girl? You kill it with the recipes for sure. Um so, let's see here. Um, what's the most you've ever weighed? 232 pounds, I believe. Shout out to Ridge Reed. Fabian, go watch any of his lifting videos. I don't lift, though. Do you smoke weed? Have you ever? Yes, I've smoked weed, but I do not smoke weed. Um, what's the most you've ever weighed? Just answer that. I think you're trolling. Um, so the other question I get a lot is how much, how much sodium do I take in? Now, this is something that's going to be pretty controversial to a lot of you, but... The thing about me is I drink a shit ton of water and I get sufficient amounts of potassium. So I find myself usually around the 6,000 to 7,000 milligram mark, sometimes even pushing eight to 9,000. And as I say that, I'm showing you guys a very sodium filled bite of broccoli. That actually looks pretty good. I'm gonna let this marinate in your minds while it's trying to focus. Does this work like that? There we go. I love the quality of this. This is just stupendous. <laughs> Are you dating somebody? I won't say that's a commonly asked question because that would make me sound like a um, whatever. Um, no, but I mean, I'd, I've always, you know what? I've talked about wanting to date somebody for a while now. So I'm not going to talk about that. But I can only dream. That's all I'm going to say. I can only dream. I sound pathetic. What are you streaming on? I am streaming on Google. Another question I get asked a lot of everybody is how often do I weigh myself? Now, oh, this is pathetic. Guys, this is why I don't make cauliflower pizza a lot. It literally just broke apart. That is the base to the cauliflower pizza. Oh, well. Um, 
So I don't weigh myself, believe it or not. If I do, it is, I'd say once every like three or four months. Um, I don't think people really understand the the volume of food that I consume every day. Volume, just vo not just food, just liquids in general. Um, so my weight will literally be like all over the place. Like I'll wake up one morning, like one sixty eight, um, and the next morning I'll wake up and I'll be like one sixty two. Next morning I'll be like one sixty five. Then the next morning I'll be like one sixty nine. Then it'll be like one seventy three. So it's like, even if you took like a, if you weighed yourself, and I know a lot of people do this, weigh themselves every day, then they take the average at the end of the week. It still doesn't work for me, just because like, I have so much going into my body on a daily basis because I don't track my macros and, um, consistently at least, and it's just, I mean, there's just so many variables that go into it. So. Why don't you ever do spicy challenges? Because I'm a bitch. No, but really though, I think spicy challenges are, I just don't like spicy food. I'm sorry. Where are your parents? Good question. No idea. On a scale of one to 10, how insecure are you? I feel like that's a horrible way to judge your insecurity on a scale of one to 10. Um, I don't like to say insecure. I lack confidence in certain areas. Like about my looks, I don't think I'm the, the best looking guy in the world. So I'm gonna rate myself on a scale of one to 10. I just. I lack confidence in that department. It's probably why I'm single and always have been. Do you eat less than when you were at a higher activity cycling every day plus lifting? Yes. So I do not require as many calories as I needed beforehand. Therefore, obviously you're not going to need as much food. What are you majoring in? I'm majoring in communications. Notice how it wasn't sarcastic there, guys. I had to hold myself. I had to restrain myself, admittedly. Shout out to Wutard2, who says you're very handsome. Well, thank you. You're a beast. I watch Furious Pete, Matt Stone, and you. You shit on them by far. Thank you, sir, but they are much, 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 much better eaters than I am. Much better eaters. Can I make a video on how to ride a bike? Just go ride a bike. No, that's like teaching somebody how to eat food. It's like you put fork. In mouth, chew, swallow. To me, it's just instinct is my point. So you should do the home run burger challenge. I have no idea what that is. Shout out to Maria Suarez who says, my roommate thinks you're absolutely gorgeous and precious. Well, thank you, Maria, because I think your roommate is gorgeous and precious. Is the food good? The food is good, but it's, excuse me, also cold. Excuse me, I just burped. <laughs> it's awkward. Ridge Reed says, weighing yourself at night is pointless, Owen. It is, weigh weighing yourself at night is one of the dumbest things you could possibly do. For the very reason of like, think of all the stuff that goes into your body during the day. 
So if you want to be 15 pounds heavier at night, then feel free. Did you ride your bike today? No, unfortunately not, but there's always tomorrow. Have you ever met Matt Stoney or Pete? Met many Pete's in my life, including Peter Pan. I've never met, met Pete. I've talked to um, talked to Pete, very nice guy. Matt Stoney, met him before. He's a really cool guy. It's hard because like you guys watch people like that on YouTube, um, but like meeting them in person. I've always I've kind of said this about quite a few people, but well, not people in particular. But you always want to see people in person and be like, oh, they're like even cooler than I thought. Oh, they're like the same person they are on camera. Like, that's really cool. You never want to meet somebody and be like, fuck, man, that guy's an asshole. You know? So. How often do you make a big challenge? Well, it depends on what you mean by big. Um, is it, well, it's just a good frequently asked question. I'll do... I should say I'll film like a, um, a cheat day, usually for like a special occasion. I hate when I put ice in my sort of waters it down. Ugh. Um, I'll do like a cheat day, like a special occasion, um, which is usually like once every few months. But challenge wise, I try to do something like once every other week or something like that. Depends. Um, uh, which is this one? On an average, from a lowest weight to highest, how much does your weight change during the day? Um, I've, like 21 pounds is like the most. Yes, I'm serious. Rich Root says, I wish people would watch your videos than rather just come in on the live streams. I know, Rich. I'm with you there, dude. I'm with you there, sir. I took your advice today, Rich. I ordered one of those. Um, um, like Basically, I go, I don't know how it's done, but I'm getting my blood work tested through another source, if you can call it a source, but... Are you doing another cheats giving this year? Believe it or not, I plan on enjoying the time with my family. I know it sounds absolutely batshit crazy, but that's what I'm going to do. Um, and Thanksgiving will be after my um, event that I have planned next week that I have to fly out for. It has to do with competitive eating. So I'm not going to be doing any big eating after that for some time. Um, people make these holidays like literally, they make themselves surrounded by food. And it's like, just go like have some turkey have some of your mother's cornbread and sweet potato pie and go deadlift more the next day. It's like, that's all I gotta do. What do I eat for capacity training? Um, I'm not trying to sound like a sarcastic douche here, but I have like a good amount of videos on it. Like not trying to be a douche or anything, but seriously though. Um, I don't really eat anything in particular for capacity training, right? Like, I mean, obviously vegetables and everything, but it depends on like how big the contest is. Most hated food challenge was the broccoli challenge. 
by far. That was fucking disgusting. When do we find out about this upcoming event? That's a great question, Sophie. I think you're the only person that's actually cared enough to ask. Um, uh, it's actually a confidential project. So due to filming purposes, I'm not able to disclose anything right now. How do you feel the day after the 50,000 calories challenge? Um, terrible. <laughs> that was by far the dumbest video I've ever done. It's also my most watched video and it's the only reason why people are watching this right now. Um, yeah, it was horrible. Is intermittent fasting good for losing weight? Harold? Yeah, Harold says it's not. Because Eric says it's not. Do you ever feel like you don't want to live by yourself anymore? Yes, I felt that way today, admittedly. The broccoli challenge was fucking hilarious, though. It says, hold on. It's hilarious. It really is. I, I, you know what, guys? I'm glad you find humor out of me watching, watching me kill myself with stuffing broccoli down my throat and also discussing amounts of calories. <laughs> this is good. I don't know why this just made me laugh. Uh, the big minds, <laughs> the big mind says, "How often do you fuck?" <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, I buy grapefruit occasionally. Shout out to everybody that gets this joke right now. I buy grapefruit occasionally. I'd say two or three times in a week. Um, I turn on uh, some nice uh, Marvin Gaye and light a candle and have fun. So about two or three times a week. Shout out to Kai Green right there. Um Fasting isn't a good idea because it could lead to food purging. Not necessarily what I was going for. It doesn't really happen like that. I mean, I guess in some people it could, but it leads more to an earn your type, earn your food mentality, which is not ideal in any case at all. Uh, do you feel more full during your food challenges if you eat slowly or faster? Do you just not get full? Depends on the food. Um, like for example, most eating contests are five to 10 minutes. And, um, with that, you know, you're like around the three to four minute mark, you usually find yourself getting like, that's really where you like hit the wall. Like I did nine, I think I did just under 10 pounds of poutine in five minutes. And I remember like right around like three minutes, that's where like the steam hits you and like your stomach actually gets ex ex expanded by the steam from the food. So, um, how do you overcome the sensation of always being hungry once you eat? Is it something you struggle with? Do you ignore it? Um, yeah, I mean, honestly, it's, it's hard. It really is. Uh, this is something that I'll have to deal with for the rest of my life, but, um, I, the way you have to do it really like food is obviously something you need every day, but structuring, um, you know, your priorities in life. Like for example, like if you know you're going to be hungry, um, distracting yourself can be great in that sense. Um, you know, if you work and everything and you have a meal, that's fantastic because you can eat your meal, go to work. You know, if the hunger is enough though, to keep you from working or doing these daily activities, then that's a medical issue or you're just not healthy. Um, what did you think about the election, sir? You are late. You are very late. Cause we just spent the, we spent like 20 good minutes talking about the election. Can I get trainer to do calories challenge? Try getting your personal trainer to do a calorie challenge. They probably won't. How are you, how are you able to push yourself to eat all that food from your challenge videos? That's not a question I can like answer. 
like give a definite answer to. Um, I just call it just stupidity. Strong, 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 strong. Did you ever want to join the military, a military branch? Not want to, but I feel like if I had different circumstances growing up, I probably would, would have to. Um, I think the military is great. How often do you have cheat days while I'm still maintaining weight? Oh, that's definitely not recently because I'm not maintaining my weight right now. Um, like I said earlier, uh, probably like I'd say once every other month. Have you ever been in a fight? I almost fought some bitch for. Actually, you know what? No, never mind today. Someone almost. Long story short, guys, I was walking to the grocery store and somebody almost ran me over because they were on their phone. I'm gonna finish that story in a second. In a second, it's that important, everybody. I mean, guys, don't text and drive at all. I don't care who you are. Be the goddamn queen, queen of England. If you're on your phone and you almost hit me with the car, I'm gonna stab you. I'm not really dumb. Oh, really? I will be pretty mad, but yeah. People just need to pay more attention. Like when I pour delicious root beer in here. I should have got diet seven up. Just that much better. At least tonight it is. I will say, oh, guys, this sea salt is amazing. He's doing a great job flavoring my vegetables right now. Doing a great job. Well, what else, guys? I want you guys to ask me what you think. Are frequently asked questions. Ask me what I think are frequently asked questions. Yeah, basically, before I forget though, somebody, uh, I was walking to the grocery store, it's almost, I was looking at their, down at their phone, had their window down, listening to like some stupid rap music. Um, it's actually really shitty rap music. And uh, their window was down, they almost ran me over. And I was like, hey, because like I'll call somebody out, I don't really care. And she like looked over at me and I'm just like, watch next time. Just like that verbatim. And she's just like, oh, I'm like, it's a better way. It's kind of funny. Shout out to C. Mullah who says your deadlifts are high as fuck. I see you guys twice your size that can put up that weight. Thank you, sir. But I will not be satisfied until I hit four plates. Seriously, though. How many calories do you eat? Have we addressed that? Holy shit. I'm going to feel like an idiot if I haven't addressed that already. Um, I think I talked about, no, I don't think I did. Holy shit. Well, damn. Um, everybody, I don't have a set calorie number that I try to hit. Make sure I hit my protein, which is very, very easy. Even if you're not eating meat. We'll try now. Is right around 200 grams, if not a little bit less. Um, well, that movie looks fucking bomb. And 
yeah, so I find like that's that's enough for me, but carbs are gonna vary. Um, but yeah, so I mean, for me though, just making sure that I get in enough carbs on a consistent basis because your body doesn't, um, I just don't, I don't abide by the whole, you know, daily macros thing because your body is either in a catabolic state or in an anabolic state. So you have to be consistently in an anabolic state if you want to be in a growth phase. I mean, people are gonna be like, well, you, you're, I mean, when you go to sleep, you're going to get catabolic. It's like, it doesn't work like that. So yeah. Are you still not eating fish? Yes, Vicky, I'm not eating fish. These are meatless grounds. These are actually, out of all the uh, fake things, fake veganist things, vegan-like things, these are actually my favorite things to eat. Top three brands. I will have to say Green Giant because they provide my del delicious vegetables. Um, post because I make awesome cereal and Canon because they make awesome cameras. Do you ever follow back Instagram followers? Honestly, no, but I don't really take Instagram seriously. That's why I have like 11,000 or like 11.6 K people following me. Shout out to the big mind. Appreciate the support, man. Could you send me your socks after a ride? <laughs> Not gonna lie, dude. That's like up there with like some of like the creepy ass shit that I, I've got sent. Emma, you freaking come in the oh Emma. Oh Emma. Emma Emma's the one that sent me the shirt, everybody. Damn it, Emma. I'll tell you what, Emma. When this gets posted have to watch the beginning of this i just want to say thank you girl you're awesome um do you play any musical instrument i'm restraining myself guys restraining myself is this making you guys cringe um New food challenge. Eric eats a fork. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know what? That would probably get so many views. So many views. I'm not going to do that. Not going to do it. I'm just going to start eating utensils. How about that, guys? Just say fuck it. Why, why, why do we care about food? There's like 10 whole calories in this fork right now, guys. Come on. Um, you like to smoke weed after to make some workout. I do not smoke cannabis. That is another frequently asked question too, is that people seem to think that smoking weed will actually make you eat more in terms of com competitive eating. But guys, that's not the case at all. Um, competitive eaters will not get, granted there are drugs out there that um, bodybuilders do take that will expand your stomach capacity. It's how they bulk up, um, but that's not, um, yeah, that's just, it doesn't work like that. It's more of a, uh, like, in a five-minute contest, smoking the ganja before you do that is not going to give you, uh, it's more, it affects your mental appetite rather than, like, your physical, like, stomach, if it kind of makes any sense, but. Thoughts on Stony. I think he's the number one eater in the world for, well, in my opinion, for a reason. It's really cool though. Again, when you meet somebody and they're just as cool as they are on camera. I'll say that about Matt. He's really, really cool. Favorite meat, veggie, and fruit. Well, if you want to call fish a meat, I would say my favorite meat is swordfish. Favorite vegetable is going to have to be. I'm trying 
try not to say Brussels sprouts because I say it every time. Onions and fruit. The Fuji apple. Collab with the Hodge twins. No, thank you. I'll be seeing them. I'll be seeing them in a few months at the LA Fit Expo. I might troll them. Just might have to troll them at their gigantic booth where I think there's probably like every single year like 200 people that sit in line or stand in line for them. All right, everybody. So to 91 of you watching right now, at the end of every single live stream, I answer one last question. And since it, this is the frequently asked questions live stream that I'll be posting, I will give you a nice little shout out, tell you how awesome you are, how much I love you, and of course answer your questions. So everybody post those questions down below so I can answer one last one. What is your favorite flavor of Pop-Tart and why is it s'mores? <laughs> I, oh, I can't do that. I have to be nice. I have to be nice. I can't make people feel stupid. You're not stupid, Ben. I just don't know where I, I'm just going to forget that ever happened. Um, Girlfriend history, go. I have some pretty cr cringe-worthy videos up. Oh shit, this is blowing up. Blowing up, blowing up, blowing up. Uh... up. Me ask what the craziest thing you've ever gotten in your PO box was. I haven't gotten anything crazy. Like, well, like good in a good way. But when I think of crazy, I think of like dead stuff. Don't ever send me anything dead, please. Have you ever thought about getting a pet? I've had a pet. You remind me of Trump. That's not a question. Are roasted veggies less healthy than steamed? But what does healthy mean? Bill Cosby says make people feel <laughs> God it's fucking Bill Cosby is in the chat right now. Fuck yeah. You're kind of an asshole, Bill. Um <laughs> What will be your next firearm? That's a really good question. That can be the last question, but I'm thinking about a shotgun. Everyone's like, oh, he obviously voted for Trump. <laughs> asshole. Mmm. So if you ask any creepy social media stalker stories, holy shit, that's that's a video I should do actually an entire video on because I have so many. <laughs> World class ask. Remember when we used to have good questions? I think all the questions are good, dude. I do. Except when people ask to be my um people ask me to send them my socks after a long ride. That's kind of a fucking weird question. So everybody, I'm going to pick. Are you feeling any better mentally, physically over the past week? Kind of address that, but um, I will point you towards my latest video, which is should actually be uploaded right now. Yeah, should be. If not, it's processing. Um, I'm going to answer one for my boy, my boy, Mr. Ridge Reed. He says, what do you think of all the fake natties on YouTube fitness and what's your take on steroids? Would you ever think about it? Um, so there are people that have platforms out there, everybody, 
And when you have a platform on any tor type of, I said tor, any type of social media that encourages people to look up to you in any way, you're going to do the best or going to portray yourself to be the best person you can be. And in YouTube fitness, it is seen as the best to be the most shredded, to be the most sick cunt, to be the most, um, shout out to Ziz right there, uh, to be uh, the what everybody aspires to be. And so steroids allow people to be these things. They allow people to um, fit into this mode. But these people, guarantee you, if you take these guys that are like two, three percent, not that low body fat, but like 5% body fat, um, and you, like if you were to take their daily thoughts, emotions, whatever you want to say, and put it into a movie, they would look like the most depressive, depressed, I should say, person ever. Like, they're not, like, the drugs, unless they're taking, like, coke, and, like, which some people do, don't get me wrong, like, I'm, like, people, their, their lifestyle just is so, like, different than what people think it is. That's my main point. Um, I don't have anything against these people because these people are doing this. They're not harming anybody. Generally, they're not harming anybody other than the people that are following them on Instagram or whatever it is that think they can get the, that type of body um, themselves, like realistically, which is not the case. It never happens. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's... It's discouraging at the end of the day, but it's it's always going to happen. People are um, like, I think within the realm of YouTube fitness, I think um, you know it's 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 going to be there. There's nothing we can really do about it. Um, in terms of like steroids and everything, I think they should be legal. I think that um, there we should be doing more to crack down on the serial serial killers, murderers, rapists are out there rather than uh, spending millions of dollars, rather than the DEA spending millions of dollars trying to crack down on guys that are um, manufacturing their own testosterone. You know, it's like more people, millions of people are dying from horrible things rather than the guy that chooses to inject himself with testosterone or train or whatever you want to say. Um, drugs are, um, people are parroting, um, what they hear from their friends, like drugs are bad, stories are bad. Well, why are they bad? Well, usually the person that you ask that to doesn't have an answer because their friend said it. So um, it's very, I feel like with more awareness that we do have towards drugs and their effects, um, you can, you guys can clearly see like on Instagram, whoever's pushing, pushing the latest shred supplement that will um, burn 50% more fat. Like the guy that's behind that is definitely like people can see the striated adults, um, the 3D adults and all this bullshit and they can realize that like, okay, that guy's obviously taking gear. Like it's pretty obvious, you know, and if he's not, he's Adobe Photoshopped. So um, at the end of the day, I just think that it should be all legalized. I think that, um, you know, we really shouldn't, harp too much on it and be negative towards people that do take steroids. So that's my thoughts. Those are my thoughts on it. 67 people watching right now. Love you guys. Anyways, everybody check out the latest video that is uploaded. Should be uploaded. Can't see my computer from here. Love this one. I like these longer ones. Let me guys, let me know what you guys think about the longer live streams. Um, and also, uh, let me know what you guys want to see for the next video. I'm doing a little prep week for the next week coming up. Uh, it's been awesome, everybody. Thanks again for tuning into the live stream. Love you guys. World class. What do we say?